Hi. This is, uh, this is super weird. This is my very first time ever actually talking to myself on video. Um, my name's Elijah. I do, uh, I do a bunch of camping stuff and I'm about to start posting uh, stuff on YouTube and uh, Instagram and TikTok. So we'll see what, uh, see what goes. I'm about to go on a camping trip. First one I'll be posting uh, this year of 2024. I'm gonna be going over to the Owyhee mountain range. I just gotta finish, I gotta put my shoes on. Then I'll be packing up the rest of my stuff and heading out to my car and then we'll be leaving. All right, I now have everything packed up. Got everything in the back seat over here. I am ready to leave. don't know me or are unfamiliar with some of my past, I've been camping for practically my entire life through uh, Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, uh, through church events like Fathers and Sons. I've just been able to explore all around the state of Idaho and into Wyoming. Uh, it's been very, very, very fun to get all that experience and to be able to, to combine all of it and use it nowadays where I'm basically solo camping. Last summer I solo camped 16 times total. First event of uh, 2024 that I'll be able to start camping and I'm gonna start vlogging it, or not vlogging, but recording it all. Because before, I was just really taking pictures and small videos and that's what I've been using as content for Instagram and uh, TikTok. But now, since I'm actually gonna be recording, I got a, I got a tripod I'm holding. Uh, I'm gonna be using that from now on. So you'll be seeing a whole lot more of that type of content. about nearing the spot. It looks a whole lot different than it did the first time I came here because it was a very, very long time ago. I would say probably close to 10 years, but maybe not that long ago. This is the mountain right here. I think they might be closed. I see a padlock on that gate. I think I'm just gonna go park on the road outside of the camp spot and walk in. Let's see if we can get in from there. All right, I'm pretty sure this is gonna work out as a parking spot. I am going to get out now. I'm gonna look around and then I'm going to find us a camping spot. Right down here uh, and these rocks. I was running all these rocks a long, long time ago. As a kid, I had this really, really cool flame knife and uh, it fell off my pocket and I've lost it since. Oh, there's a little cat right there. Look at this frame bridge. This thing is massive. All right, I am just going to say that it's fine. I'm gonna go camp over on that side, up probably on that middle ledge over there. Uh, maybe take a day hike up to the very, very top in the morning. Uh, but I'm just gonna enjoy the, the view of the bridge and the river uh, just from that side. I'll, I'll stay away from the, uh, the fee parking right now just because it is closed and I don't wanna be messing with any sort of laws or anything like that. Uh, as you might be able to tell, I was only planning on this being a car camping trip where I could keep all my stuff right next to my car, but I am now walking for a little bit, so I wanna keep all my stuff with me at once. Uh, let's do it. I'm past the bridge now. Just walked along that path down here. Got to about this point now. I'm dropping my stuff for a little break. Up this path right here, go across. I'm just gonna stay up top right there. I'm gonna have to make sure to keep a real close eye around the things around me because so far I have already seen a dead fox, which I didn't examine it enough to see what it was killed by. Um, and I'm already seeing on the ground more dog or more canine footprints than human footprints, which obviously isn't a good sign unless someone owns an entire pack of dogs. Man, I feel like a wuss. I need to definitely upgrade my cardio level for sure. I've barely come up any distance and I'm way out of breath. I don't know how much gear I'm carrying, but I definitely should have packed a little lighter, organized my stuff a little bit more and not carry as much bulk supplies. But now that I'm here, I'm actually considering taking a break and going up to that top ledge up there just because it's going to be a lot nicer up there of a view. It's still good here, but I'd rather have the best. I am almost, almost the very top. These views up here are just getting better and better and better. 
You got all those mountains in the background still with snow on them. Those are the real Owyhees. I'm in the little baby Owyhees. Oh, I gotta get moving. I gotta take a poop soon. I'm gonna find a spot where there's not so much wind. Because once that wind comes at night, or at least tomorrow morning, it's going to freeze me. I'm gonna go over there next. There's a there's a there's a path going up through those rocks over there. It's kind of a little uh, little basin over there. I'll go check that out next time. See what's over there. All right, finally made it up right here. First thing I see is a little uh, wind block that someone made. Let's build it out of rocks, face it towards the wind, the direction it's coming from. You set up camp right behind it, flat spot. I might actually consider taking this just to help break down a little bit of the, the wind coming from that direction. I was wanting to go more to towards that side over there, but I think I'm gonna lose this view over here that I have if I go over there. But I'll go take a look and see what it looks like. We were really high up here. I did not realize how high up I was yet. One of the little tiny cars down there. I see what possibly might be some sort of memorial over there in the distance. I'll go check it out. The crazy part about being up here is it looks like it's completely flat. It looks like it goes all the way to those mountains over there. We're just on this giant plateau. All right, I have officially made it to the very, very top. I'm at this little stack of rocks right here. I'm going to add my portion. Not as flat as I thought it was gonna be. Look at that. Quite a drop right there too. All that moss, slip and slide of death. Can't give up much view of the other side, just because I want to walk all the way over there. The sun's about to go down, but here is the view of this side so far. All right, I came back to the rock barrier, just because it's going to be the best wind block so far, because it's just getting windier and windier. So I'm just going to build this way higher, um, and then I'll get my camp set up. All right, sun is now about to go down. I just finished building uh, the rest of the wall. It's a lot bigger than it was before, but not huge still. I'm gonna go ahead and start setting up camp now and get dinner going, because I'm hungry. It's starting to get cold now. It's probably about maybe 30 degrees now. Maybe it's a little bit, maybe it's like 35 degrees Fahrenheit. It's supposed to be low 30s to high 20s right before the sun comes up. So hopefully I can stay warm enough. This is a fairly new tent that I got. It's just a backpacking tent. Not too expensive, super cheap. I don't even know the brand, but I love how easy it is to set up in comparison to my four person tent. That one is just way too big and bulky. show you guys these mountains. That sunset, all that snow back there. I'll get a closer look. You can actually see the snow now. Mountains go back really far. Such an awesome view. It's starting to get really cold already as soon as the sun goes down. I've actually gotten splinters from these poles because they're made out of fiberglass. I'm cracking. Yeah, this is not an expensive tent whatsoever, but it works for the time being.
you guys couldn't tell, which probably I wouldn't blame you, it's uh, it's like January 24th or something like that in Idaho. Gotta love the midwinter heat. It's already feeling warmer in there than out here, that's for sure. Ow! That's a rock. I'm gonna get an extra layer of clothes on now because I am cold. This is my winter camping pad. It has an insulation rating of R10. It keeps me very, very warm and away from the ground. You can see how thick it is. It's got a lot of insulation in there. Felt very good. Didn't break my camera, that's good. I didn't bring butter or anything, so. We are making chicken sandwiches tonight. Barbecue chicken sandwich. Jesus, scared the shit out of me. Gotta have the pickles. Gotta have the pickles. Oh! imagine that there's a lot of coyotes out here, but we'll see. I need to make my own honey butter like Luke does. Shout out to Outdoor Boys. Brand new jar of pickles. Oh yeah. Chicken is looking good. We are in business. Mmm. Love pickles. I love to eat them, but getting them out of the jar is the hardest part. Kool-Aid man. Hey, I'll call those ones good. I'm hungry. 
I'm gonna cook the other breast just to have it in case I'm still hungry. Somewhere. No! No! It's fine. Mmm. That's good. Mm. Can't take my eyes off of you. Well, that one wasn't fully cooked. That's fine. I won't die. While that's cooking, I'm going to finish up setting my tent. Another trick that I learned from Luke is that if you boil water, you put it in one of these hard plastic canteens. If you put it in the bottom of your sleeping bag, it'll keep it really, really warm. And in this case, that's something would very much enjoy right now. Good. Now he's a more pickle. Oh, I forgot to put the cheese on my sandwiches. Huh? Pickles are fine. Um, no, no, no. I hear coyotes across the river. I don't hear them anymore. There's a there's a cow ranch further down over there. I figure they're closer over there. I don't hear any towards me though, so that's good. It's so cold as it was decompressing. All the ice was forming on the outside. Had to close that. I just put my water bottle in there. I shook it up too much and it started leaking. I got water on the inside of my seam bag now. It sucks. Luckily, it's not that much. Maybe I'll just, I'll leave that open a little bit for now. Let it cool off. Oh, look at that. Water droplets are already freezing on my tent. Just like that. Boil some more water. Fill up the rest of my bottle. A little more for some better, better heat throughout the night into the morning maybe. I think the water is done.
warm up my hands against it. I'm going to make this thing nice and tight. Oh. Okay, nice and tight. All right, I'm just going to slip this pin. I'm going to get ready for bed now. inside the tent hopefully they don't get too wet from the dew all right all right it is time to change out of these clothes and off to bed i am nice and toasty i've got my flask down at the very very bottom warming up my feet and that heat is actually coming up towards my legs i can already feel it but see you tomorrow morning Just got up in the middle of the night. Just had to go to the bathroom. But the moon is so bright. I can see so much out here. All the stars. It's hard to see it on camera. <sighs> Good morning. It is about 30 degrees outside in the city below. Oh, maybe it's just barely below that up here. Wind's starting to pick up again. Just barely. Not a ton. Just shaking the outside of the, the tent. The sun is rising now. It's about 7.13 in the morning. So I, I really don't want to get out of this bag. It is so warm in here. It's freezing out there. My hands are already cold. Um, but I'm going to have to get up and get breakfast pretty soon. And then I'll, I'll pack up after that. The sun is currently rising. We have a super dense fog in all the valley down there. Which looks really cool. Oh, I'm glad I kept my boots inside the tent because everything's frozen outside. Look at this view. Look at this view right here. All my stuff is completely frozen. Got a solid layer of ice over everything. Tent, backpack, everything's just completely frozen. Just so humid out here. Yeah, sun's finally coming over now. Hopefully it'll warm it up a little bit. I don't really mind the cold too much. The only thing that does bother me is my hands. Hands turn like this purple and pink shade. Sometimes I get pink polka dots, as you can see, like around here. Um, just for super low blood flow in my hands. All right, the sun is now finally starting to hit my stuff. It's gonna start thawing it out. And then after it's done doing that, at least the sun will keep me a little bit warmer while I'm trying to prepare my breakfast. Is awesome. Super, super dense fog down there. While I was recording that time lapse, I started my uh, my stove up to warm up my hands, and I couldn't feel anything at all. And I was burning all of the the hairs on my hands. I've brushed all most of it off, but if you ever know the smell of burning human hair or any type of hair, it smells horrible. It stinks so bad. This thing is so burnt. Definitely gotta do some cleaning.
don't shoot me. Please. We got some turkey, Polish. I'm not even gonna try saying that. It's like a big old sausage. Do you guys hear that? There are a ton of coyotes over there. I can't tell if they're far away or close, but we're gonna make some pet doggy friends. Oh, yeah. oh man, my hands are so cold. I heard butane doesn't do good in uh, cold temperatures, but I don't think either isobut I don't think isobutane does either. I could be wrong. I think propane, propane's better, and then uh, white gas or gasoline, uh, camping gas is better on all of those. So maybe I'll have to invest in some of that that type of gear for uh, my winter camping or just the early early summer camping. have a warm meal when you're freezing cold. Are you serious? It wasn't even on. Oh my gosh. Still gotta get a wind block. Boil some more water so I can warm up my hands. barely do that oh my gosh all right so it's getting super super windy now it's now way colder than it was before i actually do have to head out so it's getting a little later than i thought it was but the fog cleared up the bridge is visible now i'm just gonna start finishing up packing up the rest of my stuff we just started picking up a whole lot more you see how windy it is it is crazy cold out here Sun actually came out one last time. It's a whole lot warmer, but I'm all done packing up now. Got all my stuff right there. The view a lot better now. You can see everything. All right, well, I'm gonna be heading out. I'm gonna be about to go down the mountain now. I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure. This is a wolf track. Look at the size comparison to my hand. The toes are all spread apart, unlike a coyote, where they're closer together. I'm thinking this is a, a wolf, but don't know if it's just a large dog or not. Someone's pet. It's crazy. That was all the way to the very, very top, all the way up there. All right, final stretch. And we are back to the car. We are done with that camping trip. I'm gonna throw my stuff in there.
that was a pretty great camping trip being able to hike all the way up to the top of that and be able to come to a place where i haven't been for a super super long time was very nostalgic and as i like to say the hardest part about any camping or backpacking trip is to leave i will see you guys next time if you like this content make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to stay updated on future videos and trips if you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a like i post content on other social media as well so check out my pages on there until next time enjoy the adventure